Le consortium est pour moi une communauté mondiale où l'on se bat pour faire reconnaître les droits et responsabilités des communautés locales et autochtones liées à la nature et en particulier dans leur territoire de vie. C'est une organisation made up of people, of uh, powerful individuals who, who work with one another with uh, integrity. C'est une grande famille qui représente vraiment et qui illustre cette unité dans la diversité. Un unfailing respect and belief in the rights of indigenous peoples as the two words of Mother Earth. La esencia de los pueblos originarios, ¿no? de, de la conciencia de, de los territorios, de la cultura, de proteger los territorios de vida. The consortium arose from things that were happening on the ground in different countries. Mid 1990s, we, uh, uh, I was working in, in Delhi and we had organized a workshop on joint protected area management and come out with a statement on the need for people and wildlife conservation to be more uh, integrated in some sense. Pendant la mise en œuvre du Plan national d'action environnementale, il y a eu la volonté de revaloriser les rôles des communautés dans les terroirs, territoires de vie. Et en 1996, il y a eu la loi sur la gestion locale sécurisée et la, dé la démarche qui était euh, liée à cela était aussi euh, uh, assez innovante à Madagascar. Later on, I got invited in the World uh, Parks Congress in Durban, South Africa in 2003. Jani Lasimbang, one of the founders of the ICCA movement, uh, organized a, a workshop of indigenous peoples and, uh, uh, and people are concerned with protected areas. And we established the Collaborative Management Working Group in Chiang Mai. El concepto territorio indígena de conservación que nace en el, en el segundo congreso latinoamericano de áreas protegidas que se hizo en Bariloche en el año 2007. Y los protagonistas de este gran avance, de este gran paso que marcó un nuevo hito en el derecho indígena fue protagonizado por lo que en ese momento se llamaba la red de pueblos indígenas y áreas protegidas. There was some form of recognition of the indigenous people's contribution to conservation, but this was merely a token. This was mentioned because it sounded right, it, it sounded romantic, but was never taken seriously. It was treated as folklore, devoid of empirical value. In most publications, it was a box that had the good pictures. The major conservation organization did not pay enough attention to this phenomenon. And in fact, they paid much more attention to top-down ways of doing so-called conservation. What was needed was to have a network of people from all over the world, as much as possible, related very closely and directly with nature. The 2008 World Conservation Congress kind of solidified that, that kind of shift and then the, uh, brought to us the recognition that something like the consortium was very badly needed. Cuando llegamos a Barcelona, nos encontramos con otro movimiento social muy fuerte que se venía generando, sobre todo en Asia y en África, que era la de las ICA. Y nos dimos cuenta que estábamos discutiendo ante todo el mundo la conservación desde una misma base de derechos, desde una misma intencionalidad, desde una misma, desde una misma aspiración de ser pleno protagonista en la administración y el control de nuestros territorios. We if we are to succeed as a movement, we had to have some form of formality. After formulating the roadmap, then we agreed to come up with, to, to establish a legal entity and register the ICCA Consortium in Switzerland. And after that, ICCA Consortium was established officially as an international association. And we as Senesto and God bless Dr. Farwar as the, the president of the consortium, I think did remarkable actions for the higher promotion and recognition of ICCs at all levels, national, regional, international, and local levels. Ando, 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 ando,
that na ko po siyo. So I think very close working relationship with uh, Dr. Farwa and his high intelligence, energy, and sense of humor is among my favorite memories, uh, which I think will uh, last it for me forever. Um, so very innovative, very uh, always coming up with new things, uh, being completely unconventional in even in formal meetings and so on. And I think uh, that energy that he brought into the ICC consortium in the founding of it and then the running of it was fantastic. And we, of course, miss him uh, dearly. Uh, IUCN had just kicked me out because I was uh, a bit too successful for the the kind of uh, political outlook that the organization wanted to, to have. So um, when I met Tagi, he met, he, he told me, this that you just told me that the UCN kicked you out is the best um, recommendation you have for yourself. I had already in mind this, this idea of uh, searching for what was happening around the world uh, in conservation by community. I've been seeking uh, a shisha out and, and finding his uh, phone numbers. And, and completely out of the blue, I get this call from uh, somebody in IUCN saying she's seen the statement from the workshop and she's very interested because she's working on co-management of protected areas. I was very surprised. So that's how we met. That is Grazia Borini Fairbend and I. Um, and so for me, I think what was very interesting about her was that uh, though she was coming from a very Western context, uh, her ability to understand uh, Southern global, the global South uh, was, was very refreshing. La persona que tomó la iniciativa de convocar y de, y de animarnos a que, nos, a que pensáramos juntos fue Gracia, Gracia Borrini y siempre la, la, la voy a reconocer como una de las este, ideólogas de esta idea de conformar el, el, este consorcio. That was my sort of um, uh, aim to, to pull together people who could strengthen one another by sharing the same feeling about what is right and what should be done in terms of uh, betterment of livelihoods and conservation. Il y avait et il y a toujours de grands visionnaires qui nous guident vers où aller et comment avoir des impacts importants dans le monde. Il y a des personnes très pragmatiques qui savent comment avancer vers les objectifs et la vision. Il y a les membres des communautés locales ou ceux qui travaillent avec elles qui connaissent les réalités locales et il y en a qui essaient de théoriser les points communs. Dans tous les cas, il faut avoir des personnes passionnées, engagées selon leurs moyens et possibilités et ils sont vraiment complémentaires. Si todos los pueblos indígenas en el mundo Todos los seres humanos queremos vivir mejor. Respeten los territorios indígenas. For me, I think the most important thing was the, that all of these people had a mix of very, very serious, deep thinking and commitment with a lot of fun. So the ability to actually enjoy doing what we were doing was what really brought us together and kept us together in that initial formative stages. <laughs> The main achievement has been to encapsulate the meaning of this concept of territories of life and, and, and show the beauty of it and the reality and the truthfulness of it. Uh, I, I like the way that the consortium is um, localizing things um, right now, localizing movements, you know, um, starting big globally, but uh, also looking at um, growing uh, the movement's roots, uh, where it should be going, you know, the communities. To me, ICC Consortium is unique in arguing for not just inclusive conservation, but community-led conservation. And conservation defined in a very broad way to include livelihoods, to include human rights, to include cultural diversity and rights and so on. Which is moving towards a more democratized idea of conservation.
eh, el consorcio ha ido consiguiendo eh, generar política, promover buenas prácticas, mostrar ejemplos de cómo los poliindígenas pueden ser los principales conservadores, pero necesitamos eh, que todo eso esté, este, tenga mayor incentivo en cuanto a, la, a, a destinar eh, mayores presupuestos para esa política porque estamos hablando de territorios indígenas, estamos hablando de conocimiento indígena, estamos hablando de, de una práctica y de una conmovisión indígena y que por lo tanto este, nos falta que esos recursos que se movilicen sean también administrados desde una visión indígena. La gobernanza es lo, lo que apuntamos todos los pueblos de, del consorcio TICA, de poder tener el control territorial de, nuestro, de nuestros lugares, para eso se necesita tener mucha más injerencia dentro de los estados, los organismos, parques nacionales. Uh, we could push for a shift in that towards, as I said, more inclusive conservation, towards more uh, recognition of basic collective human rights, um, even as we continue to respect nature and, and other species and so on. Then to start thinking of how do we create a radically different world. Consciously building... Um, Uh, or building dialogues around gender justice um, and um, how social justice is not uh, separate from ecological justice. I think this vision is very important to engage uh, youth people to join us just to uh, look everything uh, in this uh, multi-layer mode. Les impacts territoire de vie soit vraiment considéré comme un modèle de vie à adopter par tous euh, en soulignant justement ce lien d'interdépendance entre le bien-être de la nature et de l'humanité pour les générations successives. À travers de la sabiduría et de lo, de la, del conocimiento que tiene nuestras comovisiones, nuestra identidad, nuestra cultura, que ha sido sabia, que logró mantener una relación por miles de años, hasta que en estos últimos siglos, siglo y medio, el hombre tuvo la capacidad de, de romperlo todo. Lo que nosotros logramos mantener en armonía durante miles de años, en un siglo y medio este modelo lo destruyó. Entonces, para luchar contra ese modelo, tenemos que salir del individualismo, tenemos que salir del egoísmo y tenemos que volver a nuestras raíces. como decir, si nosotros queremos proyectarnos hacia el futuro, tenemos que tomar fuerza desde nuestro pasado. Y ahí están nuestros abuelos, nuestros padres, que fueron sabios, que, fueron, que tuvieron un enorme, un enorme cúmulo de conocimientos y que lograron interpretar a la naturaleza, que lograron interpretar cómo, cuál es la lógica de funcionamiento, cómo nosotros nos enriquecíamos humana, humanamente y físicamente si logramos armonizar con ese orden, con esa, con esa disciplina que tenía la naturaleza, con esa norma, esas leyes que tiene la naturaleza, y que lo único que tenemos que hacer es respetarlas. Este, si nosotros logramos que nuestros hijos y nuestros nietos adquieran esa sabiduría que tuvieron nuestros padres y abuelos, eh, creo que logramos cumplir nuestro fin acá en la tierra, ¿no? Hey.